forecast, those chilly temperatures, there's no denying it, Ben. They're creeping in. We've seen kind of the frost on those windshield windshields a little bit yesterday. And I'm hoping Veterans Day for people tomorrow will, will look good. It will be perfect weather for Veterans Day, but then Very a complete 180-degree turn by Tuesday, though. Here is a little snapshot of the cold snap that is on the way to about the eastern two-thirds of the United States. Yes, a lot of people are going to be feeling well below, if not near, record low temperatures by Tuesday into Wednesday. Right now, not too bad, though, but there you can see Fargo and Billings at 13 and 10 degrees, which is nothing compared to what we had today. 60s, even a 70-degree high temperature reported in Tacoa, Georgia, and tomorrow almost a carbon copy. We'll start the day a little bit warmer than we did today. I mean, definitely still a jacket in the morning type day as we see a mostly sunny sky. Middle and upper 60s, 65 and 69 your afternoon high temperatures for the mountains and upstate respectively. Maybe a few late day clouds, but other than that, really nothing of notoriety. So for those reasons, we're going to rate the day a perfect 10. It's likely going to be the last on the seven day forecast, mainly because we'll be below average on the thermometer. As you can see, satellite radar looking mostly clear, but if a few high thin clouds are trying to creep in from the west. We've got some high pressure center just to our south of Georgia, and that clockwise flow is what's bringing us that southerly movement of some warmer air into the western Carolinas. But what's going to kick it out of place? This cold front, and it is already bringing snow showers. If you were watching the uh, Green Bay uh, Panthers game today, you probably noticed that white field at uh, Green Bay at Lambeau Field. Yep, that was that snow shower, and this is the air behind the cold front. So this is what's on the way and what's really going to cool us down. And it ain't nothing compared to what we experienced last week with that little cold snap for Friday Night Blitz. So as you can see on Futurecast, fast forwarding to Monday evening, really not much shaking. Really, it's not till midnight when rain starts to work its way in ahead of it. And that's when we also start seeing some mountain snow showers along the Tennessee border. We could even see some stray flurries and some rain snow mixtures around Asheville, Hendersonville Tuesday morning. But upstate foothills, northeast Georgia, this is going to be entirely rain and should move out of here by lunchtime Tuesday at the latest. In addition to that, it's going to cool down. Tuesday morning, we're going to be in the 30s and 40s, but by the end of the day, likely even colder than that. So even though we get rid of the rain Tuesday afternoon, the rest of the day ain't going to be no picnic either. We're going to be in the 20s and 40s, likely by the end of the day, and then teens and 20s for temperature is a Wednesday morning, followed by highs only in the 30s and 40s. And then that's going to be attached with a wind to a hefty north wind, so feels like temperature is Tuesday night, Wednesday morning could be near zero degrees in places like Asheville. So if you don't have the hats and gloves and scarves located now, I would do that before Tuesday because it is going to be a bone chilling morning. That's for sure. 30s and 40s. That's where our coldest on Wednesday. But luckily, we're pretty quick to bounce back into the 50s Thursday and we'll likely be at least trying to knock on the door 60s by the weekend. But other than that, the cold snap is going to be the main story of the week and it comes Tuesday into Wednesday. Jail. All right, thanks, Ben. And 